This is the weirdest snake in the world. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what the f this thing is, what it's for, and what most people get wrong about how it's made. But first, we need to understand how vipers communicate. A classic viper position is the S coil. The snake will curl up, keeping its head close to its body to keep it safe, telling us to back off. Vipers use their tails for different purposes, like rattles for self-defense and in hunting. Because they're ambush hunters, these snakes need to get within striking distance of their food. If there's plenty of food around, then their camouflage and patience is usually enough. But if it isn't, then they need to find a way to make their food come to them. Many vipers are born with a slightly different colored tail, which they move and flick around to trick their food into thinking that it's food. But what is this thing? It's not a rattle and it sure doesn't look like a worm. Up until 2001, the viper was only known from one individual that was found in Iran in 1968. It had been misidentified. The weird structure on its tail was so different that the scientists then believed that it was some sort of abnormal growth or disconfiguration and they wrote it off as an anomaly. But after more visits later on and the scientists started to find more snakes with the same tail, finally the snake was described as a new species in 2006, which they call the spider-tailed viper. Wait, wait, wait. A snake with a tail that looks like a spider and a spider-snake hybrid is probably the one thing that's gonna send most people running for their lives. But that's very unlikely. The snake lives in the remote Zagros Mountains. Encounters with people there are rare. Is it a lure then? Scientists thought so, but nobody had found evidence of it. So a team led by Bazed Fatinia went up into the mountains and studied the snake. For the first time, they actually photographed and filmed the snake in ambush position using its tail. No doubt that this is the most elaborate lure of any reptile. Most people think that it's made like a rattlesnake's rattle, but rattlesnakes undergo profound physiological changes. Their vertebrae actually fuse close to the tail, whereas the vertebrae and the spider-tailed viper are completely normal. Rattles are also made from segments of keratin that are reinforced every time the rattlesnake sheds its skin. Spider-tailed viper, the end of the tail, the spider is soft, and the long spider legs are made from elongated scales that get hard when the spider is in ambush mode. There's speculation that the spider is mimicking a camel spider, but because camel spiders are mostly nocturnal, nobody really knows. What we do know is that the lure is very effective, but only on migratory birds, because the local birds seem to have caught on to the snake's trick.